Hello everyone, welcome to a new travel video. Today is Good Friday and Nick and I are going away uh, just for two nights this Easter, just over to Duarapa, which is about two hours out of uh, Wellington. If ever you guys see me uh, talking about going to the Masterton office for work, that's also in the Wairapa. Um, this time we're actually going to Martinborough, which I've never been to before. It's quite famous for its uh, vineyards and for its wineries, so hopefully we get a chance to go and see some of them. It does look like, because Easter, um, a lot of them are closed, so hopefully at least one of them is open. Um, but right now we have come to a place called Morrison's Bush, which my friend told me about. It's a pretty beautiful site, so hopefully it's going to be a good weekend. We are over in the Wairapa because tomorrow we are going to go and do a walk at a place, I think you say Patuna Farm or Patuna Farm, I'm not too sure. Um, but that's going to be really cool as well. Um, to keep our holiday nice and cheap we're also just going camping so hopefully that should be all good I haven't been camping for quite a while um, and on the drive over Nick and I realized that we actually forgot to bring pillows so that's going to be interesting uh, but yeah welcome to an Easter video in the wire wrapper where I look a little bit ridiculous with my hat and my helmet on but Nick and I have come for a bit of a bike ride um, I think I said this before but we were hoping to go to a vineyard or two today but because it's Good Friday there's like rules and regulation and nothing's open so instead of hide some bikes I'll show you mine when I'm not on it um, but we're just gonna go for a little bike around the town maybe get an ice cream and just enjoy the afternoon I noticed that my camera just wasn't working whatever I try to film for whatever reason the camera just doesn't film so apologies that you now have iPhone footage for the rest of this trip um, so as I said this morning we went out to get coffee and then we went to Martimer Vineyard and did a wine and a gin tasting and we also bought some lighthouse gin because of course I would go to a vineyard and buy a bottle of gin um, then we went out to a place called Oh My Goodness Cafe for brunch and now we have arrived at Petuna Farm. Um, I think I'm going to swap to GoPro footage from here on out uh, just because I think that will be a bit nicer than my phone. Uh, so yeah, cue the montage of footage from Petuna. <laughs>
stabilization uh, but as you can see we have now finished the walk through Batuna farm that was one of my most favorite adventures that we have ever been on um, I forgot to mention earlier I think that we also have or had our DJI so you would have hopefully just seen a bunch of lovely silky shots with that um, if ever you guys are in the Y wrapper or even if you're just in Wellington I would definitely recommend doing that because it's I think I said before like $25 because it's on someone's private land and they drive you like 20 minutes um, through the farm to like the start of the walk and it's absolutely incredible it's so beautiful um, I'm already planning our trip back because I thought it was so nice so yeah definitely uh, check that out if you want to I'll leave a link to the website down below now we are just getting back to our accommodation we're gonna have a quick shower and change um, and I think we're gonna head to the Martinborough brewery for dinner if it's open I feel like I read somewhere that it was actually only open until 7 so fingers crossed okay we've quickly showered and changed and I'm walking to the brewery now sorry if it's really windy but I realized there's a few things that I forgot to mention about Petuna that I wanted to. Um, the first one was that Nick and I, there was like 20 people that went on the walk with us, but Nick and I waited until the very like last people had already gone so that we could be the last ones to kind of do the walk, which meant A, that we could go at our own pace, um, but B, that we could kind of like stop and let everyone get far enough ahead that when we were taking photos and videos and stuff, there was no one else around, which I think made the walk a lot more like calm and fun because it essentially felt like we were just by ourselves in this incredible place. Um, tip number two, wear something that you don't mind getting wet. For a lot of like the second half of the walk, um, you're kind of in like shin knee deep water, but there is one part where it kind of comes up to your hip and I think there's another way that we didn't go, um, but that the water gets like up to here basically. So be prepared to get wet. And in saying that as well, make sure you wear shoes also that you don't mind getting wet, but also that have good grip on them because my uh, trainers, which I was wearing, which I normally wear to the gym, don't have any grip. So there are definitely a few dicey moments. Are home from Martinborough it was a really lovely 40 hours away I really love that we're able to do things like that like go away um, to somewhere that's not too far away so it doesn't feel like we've been in, in the car all day or it's too far to get to but it's still like a completely different place and we had an incredible time kind of disappointed that for whatever reason my camera wasn't working but hopefully you guys still enjoyed the video and hopefully the iPhone footage wasn't too bad quality um, I'm really excited to edit this vlog because I feel like the footage that I filmed on the GoPro and on the DJI Osmo when we're going through the chasm were really cool and I'm really looking forward to uh, like putting that to some cool music so hopefully you enjoyed that little clip that you would have just seen of that thank you very much for watching I hope you all enjoyed it remember that there'll be a link to Petuna Farm down below if you want to go and check it out not spawn just had an amazing time I hope you all had a really lovely Easter weekend as well and I'll see you all in my next vlog bye <laughs>